Now, we need to solve missing number problems for multiplying by 10, 100, or 1000. And for these questions, we know that the missing number must be 10, 100, or 1000. Because if we look at the number in our answer, we have the number in our question, but with zeros on the end. So here, we have 30 with three zeros on the end. Here, we have 78 with two zeros on the end. And here, we have 2050 with one zero on the end. So, 30 times what equals 30,000? Our missing number is 1,000. That's because 30 times 1 is 30, but then multiplying by 1,000, we write three zeros on the end of our number. And what really happens when we multiply by 1,000 is that the digits move three place values to the left, and we write zeros in our empty hundreds, tens, and ones columns. Now, 78 times what is 7,800? Our missing number is 100, because our answer is 78 with two zeros on the end, and we have two zeros in 100. And what's really happened when we multiply by 100 is that the digits have moved two squares to the left, and we have zeros in our empty tens and ones columns. Now, 2050 times what equals 20,500? Here, our missing number is 10, because if we look at our answer, we have the number in our question, but with an extra zero on the end. So, we've multiplied by 10, because what's really happened is that the digits have moved one square to the left, and we've written a zero in our empty ones column. 